Hello everybody and welcome to CAD in Black. In this tutorial, I am going to share to you few tips about organization in AutoCAD. For me, it's a very important thing, as with spending a couple of hours organizing your layouts and creating personalized templates, you will save a lot of time in the future whenever you start a new project. Save space when using two screens. If you have two screens on your computer, you can use them as your benefit when working on AutoCAD. As you may be familiar, sometimes we have to open the Layer Properties panel or open the External References palette as well as the Properties window. All are using space on your screen. But, however, if you have a second screen, you can place there the palettes you often need in AutoCAD. For example, here I place these ones in a way that I can use them easily all the time. And this is important, the palettes are still on the same position if you open another file or if you close the AutoCAD program and come back just tomorrow. The things will look more organized, which is more pleasant to work. Create a personalized template for your projects. Let's suppose you need to create architecture projects often and you need floor plan drawings, elevations or location plans. In addition, the scale and the paper size you use most of the time is the same. So, if that is your case, one good way to save time is create a personalized template with everything already set up. For example, Look to this file where I draw this floor plan. The layers that I use here probably will be the same or similar in other projects. So, first I can empty the workspace. Make sure that all layers are turned on and unlocked. Then go to Select All and press Delete. Now I can save this as a template or saving as a normal DWG file would work fine. It's important that you choose a name that you will remember, for example, Project Architecture. Ok, I can continue personalizing this file, for example, Edit the Units and Precision, if I often use the same units in my projects. On the Layout tabs, I can save loads of time if I have several tabs for floor plans, elevations, sections, and so on. I can go to the Page Setup Manager to set the paper size, for example A3, and also the printer if it's the same all the time. Then I can delete the objects here by selecting All. Make sure I am on the paper space. Now, I'm going to add a new layer called Title Block. And I'm going to draw on the paper a title that can be used on all my drawings. As soon as I finish the Title Block, I can create a viewport in this layout. I go to the Layout tab, then I click here to insert a rectangular viewport and draw it on the paper. After, I double click inside to switch to the model space and set up a scale for it. Ok, suppose that most of the time I use the scale of 1 per 50. I click on it, so I don't need to set it all the time when I start a new project. Then I can rename this layout to Ground Floor. I double click on it and I type the name that I want. Then to create similar layouts I can right click here, then move or copy. I select Ground Floor and tick Create a Copy. Then I click on OK and a new tab with the same configuration was created. So, in a project architecture, 
I can have all these tabs for floor plans, elevations, site plans, or location plans. And when I'm happy with the template, I can save it to my computer. On Save As, click on Drawing Template and select the file that I want. I can add a description here also and click on OK. Basically, with this, I can save a lot of time when I start a new project. Ok, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black if you haven't done it yet. Just click in the icon that is shown here. Also, if you need online private lessons, you can send me an email to the address that I show you there. So it's everything and see you next time!